everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and I do handbag reviews, comparisons, unboxings. I also like to talk about shoes and travels. So if you're interested in those things, consider subscribing to get more videos like this. And yeah, today's video is an unboxing of a pair of shoes. If you follow my channel or if you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll know that I do have quite a bit of shoes lately and it's because I'm trying to test them out for the summer. I love wearing flats for the summer and just comfortable shoes and yeah, that's just generally my go-to I think in terms of shoes. I wear a lot of flats, I love my wedges, sometimes heels, but flats are my usual go-to. So. I have another, yet yeah, another pair from Rothy's. This is actually only my second pair. I have been loving my first pair so much. I got it in the point. I did an updated review on it, I think like a month ago. So if you're interested in that, I'll try to link it below. But yeah, I've been loving that one so much and I've just washed it. I know I should have washed it sooner, but I've only noticed it smelling about like a couple months ago. So I figured it's time to wash it. But you should always keep it clean just in general. Um, I, they sell extra liners so that you could switch them out. But yeah, I decided I want to get another pair because that one, as good as it was, it's the pointed flats. I feel like I wanted to try a different style. And so let's unbox this. They come in this really cool uh, box where you rip like this to open. And then here it is inside. There's my receipt. This is the extra liner. I actually bought an extra one this time for myself for this pair. They do differ. So this one is for the one that I got and, and it, so it won't fit my point flats. This actually says machine washable. I thought it was not machine washable before the liners. It just so happens you have to wash them outside of the shoe. But I also have heard some of my, some of my friends say that they don't wash it separately. They just leave it in the shoe and it's still okay. So you can try it out and, and figure out what works for you. But here are the insoles. And here is the rest of the box. They actually ship the box in the as the shoe box so a lot of the times you'll see companies ship their shoe box inside another box but this one just comes directly as their box and here we are oh my god the color looks amazing so i got this in the mocha color let me bring it closer if you can see it, it it's i thought it was gonna be oh actually you know what in, in the camera it looks more gray in real life it has more of a red tone to it so this pair of Rothy's is my second pair and I already love the look of it. It's a pair of loafers. So as you can see, it does come up a little higher in its round toe, but it's still the flat base and it has the rubberized sole. Um, so I got this in a six and a half because they told me that a lot of people also prefer a half size larger. With the point flats, I did buy a half size larger because I bought my original size and it was too tight. Um, so I went for a half size up and again, they recommended these to be a half size up. So I'll give it a try. Let me take out the other pair. Here we are. Again, these are washable and that's why I, I, I decided to go for another pair because I battered my first pair. I actually wore my points, my point flats to hike. It was not by design. It was the only pair that I had and we decided to all of a sudden go and I was able to wear it. Not the most like efficient way to do a hike, but I did it nonetheless. It looks really dirty afterwards, but it still held its shape. It, it There were no holes. There were no like misshape like areas and I washed it and it looks good it's crazy i was like how is this possible anyway so um i did get a pair of loafers to give a try and let me put them on and show you really quickly all right so here we are they're on my feet and they fit really comfortably and um like i said i got this in a half size larger than my usual i usually wear a six but this one i got six and a half and it feels really nice i think if i got it in a size my usual size it would have been too small yeah these feel good and i like how they look on me i might wear it this weekend so there we are this is my new pair of rothy's i'm very excited to use it if they're as comfortable or even more comfortable than the point flats i would be so so happy 
because now I have another one. Uh, like I said, I went with a mocha color. It doesn't look as brown red on camera. It looks more gray, but it is slightly different than the point flats that I have. But I really do like that pair because I I'm able to dress it up and down. I can wear it more fancy. The material is definitely not fancy wear and I don't expect it to be, but if you're in like a pinch and you want to wear a dress, the darker the color is, the better it is to go with some of these less dressy items. So unlike leather, which is more dressy, you could dress it up. But yeah, with the dark colors like these, I feel like you could still dress it up. I will give these a go and also give my, all of my other pairs a go. Um, I have a few pairs also from other companies. If you are interested in seeing a comparison with all of those and what I think, do subscribe and stay tuned because once I, like I said, once I get more usage out of these ones, these are brand new out of the box. I don't know how they actually work, but once I get a better idea of them, I will try to do a collective video where I can tell you what I think of each shoe, the pros and cons, what I prefer, you know, etc. If you have any questions that you would like me to answer in my next comparison updated video, do leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them. I also have a referral code that I'll link below as well so you can save $20 off of your first pair, which is amazing. Any I think any savings would definitely help any purchase, so I'm going to leave it in there for you so that you can take advantage of it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!